Hey everybody, it's Reagan from The Buttered Home and today I'm here with my sweet mama. And we're gonna be doing our version of a green bean casserole. And we are gonna heat the oven to 350 and we're gonna pour in the Campbell's condensed soup. It's cream of mushroom. Cream of mushroom. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna flatten it out and then we're gonna put in two thirds of a cup of French fried onions as well as need your milk. green beans. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't let you do it, Donna. <laughs> and then a half a cup of milk. And we're gonna mix that just to get it nice and combined. And then our little portion is going to be added in a little bit later, but... When do you season it? After you mix it all up? Yes. I guess. So now we're going to add in almonds. Slivered almonds. Slivered almonds. Or sliced, whatever. Whatever you want to call it. Mm -hmm. About a half a cup. Yes. I'm not. Okay. All right. So now we're gonna add about well, a little dash of salt. Mm-hmm. Probably a pinch. Probably a little pinch. We may add more, depending. We're gonna add a little bit more. <laughs> My pinch is bigger than your pinch. <laughs> and then right. probably about a quarter teaspoon of ground pepper. A good standard measurement for salt and pepper is anywhere from a half a teaspoon to a teaspoon of salt and a quarter teaspoon to a half a teaspoon of pepper. But just do that however you see fit. And don't you put a little extra salt and salt in it? Yes. We are then going to add soy sauce. Now some people can put mushrooms in this, but if you know me, you know that I absolutely despise mushrooms. How much soy sauce did you put in there? I put a teaspoon of soy sauce in there. Okay, good so... Like I said. And and we'll just, while we're talking, this is one of her and Tanner's favorite dishes. And I don't make it because I don't love it. So they end up making it and, and they do it their way. So it's, it's always fun. <laughs> so now we're gonna grab about a quart to a quart and a half pan. And I'm gonna hand these sure. to you. Take care of that for you my assistant today mm -hmm. um, and we're just gonna pour this into the pan um, now like I said I don't like mushrooms I don't like the consistency but I tell you what I love the taste mm -hmm. so that is the reason that I will eat things like this and what is what is that soup from the Chinese restaurant that we go to or the Japanese oh, the mushroom. beef and mushroom. The beef mm -hmm. and mushroom soup. Yeah. Because the mushrooms are not, well, in that soup, you can take them out. Yes. Um, but in this, it, the cream and mushroom soup is not, like, it doesn't have it. It's not overpowered. It doesn't have the big texture in it like you don't like of the mushrooms. Yes. Mm -hmm. So now you're going to flatten this out, and we are going to put it, well, actually, cut that part out. I'm not cutting anything Yes, out. you are. No, I'm not. I swear, if you make me look like a dummy. You're not a dummy. You're cooking normal. People like to see people cooking normal and, and, and losing their place and all that kind of stuff. It's fine. So she's spreading that out. And then we're going to put it in the oven for about 25 minutes or until hot. Yeah, 25 minutes. Yeah. And then we'll be right back. So stay with us. Alright, and we're back after a 30 minute total cook time. What we did was we took it out at 25 minutes and we sprinkled French onions and almonds on the top of it to make it all pretty and garnished. And then we put it back in the oven for about five minutes to let all of it gold and brown and cook a little bit together so that it's all together. And we got two spoons right. so we can both try it. 
It smells good. I'm glad. All right, hang on, hang on, hang on. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. That soy sauce is something special in it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. Well, this recipe, like every other recipe, is going to be at thebutteredhome.com. The home. Print, easy printable, free, and it's got a little piece where you can make notes in it. Um, and of course we love to hear from y'all. We love to hear how y'all make it your own. So make it with the almonds, make it with the soy sauce or don't, we won't really know unless you tell us. So, um, but yeah, if you want more videos like this, go to our YouTube channel, turn on the notification bell and hit subscribe. <laughs> so, but anything you gotta add? Didn't she do a great job? Mm. Even though we had to film the end two times. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we hope you like this recipe. It can be found, like she said, at thebutteredhome.com. Make sure you're following us on all of our social channels. <laughs> and head over to YouTube and hit subscribe. And as always, from the buttered home to your home, we sure love y'all. Bye. Bye.